Hello everyone, welcome to BISP Solutions. I am Preeti working as Oracle Fusion Functional Consultant. So in the earlier session of the series of this webinar, we have discussed the configurations which are related to the account receivable module in the Oracle Fusion application. So on the very first day, we have discussed the roles that are required by the user to perform the configurations and the process related to the account receivable module. Then we have discussed the order to cash steps and then we have discussed how to pay the invoice transaction, credit memo and debit memo. Then in the roles required session we have discussed these are the roles that are required by the user to perform the configurations for account receivable module. Then in the day 2 session we have discussed how to create the standard receipt creation against the invoices and how to reverse the receipt. Then we have discussed the debit memo receipt reversal and then we have discussed the miscellaneous receipt creation. Then in the day 3 session we have uh, discussed how to create the chargeback transaction. Then how to create the receipt in the spreadsheet when we have data in the bulk that at that time we should use spreadsheet for the receipt creation. Then we have discussed the reciprocal customer. So in today's session, that is the day 4 session of the account receivable webinar series, we will discuss three topics. One is cross currency receipt configuration and process. Then we will discuss the receipt right of configuration. And the third task for today is uh, the customer refund and configuration and process. So we will start with the cross currency receipt configuration and process. When you are creating a transaction, in one currency but you are receiving the payment from your customer in another currency at that time we have to do the configurations in the application for the cross currency receipt for that first we have to create the daily rates between the currencies in which you are creating the transaction and in which you are receiving the payment then at the bank account level you have to enable one checkbox which is for multi currency transaction then we have to, to create the transaction in one currency and we have to create the receipt in another currency so for that we will directly move to our application and we'll see what are the configuration and what is the process for the cross currency receipt so let's move to our application Let's log in with the username. configure the daily rate setup we have to see whether uh, the daily rates for the currencies is available or not for that you have to go to the setup and maintenance in the setup areas like the financial offering Now in the search task, you have to search for the task that is manage daily rates. You can see the task on the screen that is manage daily rates. Now let's say we will create the transaction in USD. And we are receiving the payment from our customer in INR. So we have to check the daily rate between the USD and the INR. Now this is the rate type and in the second tab you can see the tab name as daily rates. Click on it. Now we have to search for the daily rates from currency to currency. So our from currency is USD. 
and our two currencies INR and here you have to select the rate date you have to give the date range click on search here so this is the today's conversion rate from USD to INR which is already uploaded here now what we have to do for now click on done so we have checked for daily rates and now our next task is we have to go to the bank accounts and we have to enable the checkbox for the multi currency transaction then only the application will allow the bank account to accept the multi currency transaction for that search for the manage bank account you can see the task on the screen that is manage bank account now you have to search for the bank with the legal entity name click on search here and this is the bank account name click on add it icon now in the general tab you can find one checkbox that is multi currency account for for the multi currency transaction you have to enable this checkbox then only you will be able to create the multi currency transaction with your bank account so it is already enabled if in case it is disabled you have to enable this checkbox for uh, creating the multi currency transaction now click on save and close so we have configured the daily rates and also we have configured the multi currency transaction checkbox enabled in the bank account now the next step is that we have to create the transaction in the usd click on okay and then click on done now we have to create one transaction in our uh, functional currency functional currency means uh, the currency in which we are operating our business and then we have to create the receipt in the foreign currency that means the currency which is other than our functional currency now go to the receivable workbench area then go to billing area and here we will create one transaction in the usd currency click on create transaction give the transaction class here so by default system is taking invoice in the transaction source we are taking it as manual then in the transaction type we are taking it as invoice then here you have to give the transaction date so by default system is taking today's date if in case you want to change this date you can change it select the customer name here click on search and in the payment term let me take it as immediate
click on complete and review then go to the actions and then from actions we can view the balance for this invoice this is the original amount and the pending balance amount is also 10,000 click on done here and then click on save and close now our next step is that we have to create the receipt in the currency which should be other than USD currency so we are creating uh, the receipt in the INR as we have checked the daily rates for the USD to INR currency for creating the receipt again go to the receivable workbench area and here you can see the account receivable area click on it go to task panel and here you will uh, get one task that is create receipt click on it So the receipt type is standard, business unit name is this and here we have to select the receipt method. check the daily rate according to which we will uh, put the amount In the currency you have to select the currency in which you are receiving the payment so we are receiving the payment in the INR and we have created the transaction in the USD currency so I have entered the amount in the INR currency and you can see here the accounted amount that means it is taking it in the USD currency this is the receipt date this is the accounting date now here in the remittance bank account field you can see the detail of the bank from which we are receiving the payment this is the deposit date here you have to select the customer name Now click on submit and apply manually. Click on add application. Sorry, we have to click on uh, add open receivables. Now click on add open receivables. 
Now while adding the open receivables, you have to enable one checkbox while searching for the open receivables. Here you have to enable this checkbox which is for include cross currency transaction. And now search for ABC Consulting. So this is the invoice that we have created because this is a recent invoice number. Now click on add and then click on done. can see the transaction details amount applied basis